Hello there, everybody. My name's Shadowrack, and welcome back to Pokemon 3D. We just beat the Violet City Gym Leader. So now it's time to get moving on to the next city. Um, we need to get over here. Uh, I need to decide. There is a Pokemon I have an idea of getting here. Oh, let's get a berry. I gotta use. I'm using the keyboard again today because. I don't know, something happened to my, to my Xbox, I don't, nothing happened to my controller, but the, the USB cable I used to plug it in, I think, is all messed, messed up, so, can't use it, at least not right now. So I was thinking about getting a Mareep in this area, because I used to always like Mareep. Oh god, it's Wooper. I never liked Wooper. Get out of here, Wooper, no one likes you. I don't even know anyone that likes Wooper. Cause like I like Mareep. Mareep's a pretty solid electric type. But I'm not really sure if I wanna get one. I'm really not. Especially cause the Pokemon in this area are pretty weak. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough, yeah? Youngster Albert. I got all the I got the sniff sniffs today. All the bad sniff sniffs. Uh, so I'm gonna be drinking a lot while I'm recording. Ah, delicious. Your Rattata is no more! Stupid Rattata. Oh, it's Zubat! You know, I used to never like Zubat. Like, I used to never like, I didn't really like, dislike Zubat, but I never was like, oh, I don't wanna have Zubat in my party. Actually, it was until Gold version and Silver version came out that I really think they made Zubat like, like a pretty good Pokemon. Because oh, Cyndaquil wants to learn Quick Attack. Well, let's get rid of let's get rid of Smoke Screen. Now he has Quick Attack. Now he's super fast. But I think like Crobat, like like. The creation of Crobat, I think, is really what made Zubat like a very, like a pretty desirable Pokemon. Cause Crobat had amazing stats, and he could learn a lot of really cool moves. Especially once they started getting really creative with the move sets, like being able to learn like a, a variety of attacks. Like he could learn X Scissor, which was like a really good Bug type move, has like a high critical. Um, you know, he could learn like. Like, uh, what was it, like, like a poison fang, like, there's a lot of just, just very, like, versatile moves. And that's kind of how I like to have my Pokemon, I like to have my Pokemon very versatile, which is why I love Gyarados. Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon, because he can just learn so many damn moves. Hey, I'm talking to you. Well, put the phone down, picnicker. Ooh, Nidoran! Kill it. Kill it with fire. Ooh, it got burned. Ooh! I'm gonna use Ember again just because I don't want... I don't want to get hurt by a poison point. If that's even a thing. I don't even know. Are abilities in this game? Let's give you my phone number, sure. You can know my phone number. Wait. Okay. I, I guess I got your phone number. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's drugs just sitting on the floor. I love when I find drugs just sitting on the floor. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should get a Mareep. I mean, I have to decide now because this is the area to do it. Because there's going to be a bunch of water type trainers over there. So. Bell Sprout! Bill, 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 Bill,
more so what I mean by that is like, so, in the anime, the Pokemon actually, oh, Ekans, he can give us a lot of experience, I'm gonna kill it, um, like, you know, in the anime, like, the Pokemon clearly say their name, so, you know, obviously, iconically, Pikachu, you know, always says Pika, and I always find it interesting, like, to see, like, how, like, in the games, with the exception of, like, yellow version, and maybe there was one other game that did it, too, I'm not sure, but Pikachu generally has, doesn't, like, he still has, like, his, like, game noise. So I always got it, thought it was interesting that, like, that's always been a thing. Especially, like, when you, like, start getting involved with the games, like, you know, Super Smash Brothers, where, like, you know, you could. Can... Alright, there's a Marie. Let's see what we got. Level 6 female. Um, let me try to use Ember, see how much damage that'll do. Oh, I accidentally killed it. <laughs> so we're going to have to not use Ember if I want to get one. Oh, there's a Hoot Hoot. I'm going to I'm gonna keep killing all these Pokemon just because the Cyndaquil is so close to evolving. I don't really want to spend time on this. Like I said, I'm not even sure if I want to even reap. Because, like, in the newer games, like, Marie can actually be, like, a dragon type with Mega Evolution. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> but. Oh, Wooper. I'm thinking maybe I won't get a Marie. I'm just trying to think, like, in my head. Like, like how to build the party from here on out. It's like, it'd be nice having a Marie, but... There's other electric types I think I could rather have, so yeah, we're gonna move on. It's time to get moving on. We'll deal with them in a second. Oh, uh, what, Wade? Yeah, it's Wade. How are you? Think about going to a bug catching contest. Are you going? Actually, I might. I always like to get Scythe there in these games. Hello there, Roland. And your male Nidoran. Hey, I get a Nidoran. Nidorans are cool Pokemon. Because, like Gyarados, for whatever reason, they can learn a lot of different moves. Plus, real realistically, like, they always made Nidoran cool to me because it was like. I know, like, in the original game, I would always get a Nidoran, male or female, because once it, like, leveled up to evolve into a Nidorino or a Nidorina, it was like only level 23. You had to get the. Cynical's evolving! Oh, their, their evolving thing was really cool! It was like nice and quick. I have a quill level. Let's see how co cool he looks. A quill level? Hi, buddy. There's grass in your face. Um. But yeah, you only had to get them to like level 23, and Nidor King would learn Thrash, and Nidor Queen would learn Body Slam, respectively. So it was like, I just thought it was always like, kind of neat. But then like, you could just teach them anything. Like, they could learn Surf, they could learn, they could learn like, Ice Beam, Thunder. Like, it was just like, now granted, versus their stats, re respectively, like, you know, it might not have worked out that well for you, but... I still think that was always cool, the variety of moves they could learn. Another Pokemon I love getting is Abra, but god, they are always just such a pain to get. Because they can be your powerhouse if you train them right as well. Alright. I don't know how good it'll be taking Quilava in here, but here we go. I'm a good angler, but a better. F oh, now this is Ralph. Ralph. Ralph is kind of important to have because, like, in your like in your phone book, because if you're friends with him for a good while, I don't. I'm not. I never knew what exactly the time frame was for it, but there was like six or seven people that when you got their phone number, they called you about rare Pokemon, 
And his rare Pokemon was Quil uh, Quillfish. I think that's his name. So like, he lets you know when Quillfish become prevalent in the area. But it doesn't really matter until we get, you know, a fishing rod. But I always found the water types in this game for me personally to be like just kind of thrown out to the to the water, no pun intended. Just because like I always wanted that red Gyarados, so for me I was just like ah, uh, whatever. But the cl I think the second closest Pokemon that I liked, as far as water types go, was. Chinchou and Lantern, just because of the fact that it was like the first, one of the first Pokemon that I really used that was like, it's two types were the types that it was like, super effective against, so it was like, water and electric, so, I always thought he was a really neat Pokemon. I'm still mad about this whole ghastly nonsense. Alright, Golov has a level 15, so, normally my... I, I, you, you, you can stop all that. Normally how I train my Pokemon is I always do like five levels at a time. Um, switch. There we go. So, just because I really like to keep my teams balanced as much as I can. Now, sometimes like certain Pokemon will get away because of like they had someone dying or you know whatever. But This is the Magikarp guy. He's got four Magikarp. Three of them are useless. <laughs> One of them is Tackle. So we'll just keep on doing that. Now the only thing that could be bad for us, now that I'm thinking about it, is that going into that cave could be difficult. I mean, the trainers aren't uh, what I'm worried about, but we have a flying type and we have a fire type. So if we come across any rock types, that could be that could be bad. I never understood this. The guy with the level 15 Magikarp never had him use. There you go. Now he uses tackle. Leveling up a Magikarp into a Gyarados is one of the most tedious experiences in this game. At least for me, I don't know. Maybe for other people it's not so bad. I always just found it to be like such a tedious task. It's cool that in this game you can see the Pokemon Center for what they should be like. Like in the game you never can really see like oh there's like a giant tower there like showing the like Pokemon Center. So I think that's really neat that you can actually see that. How would you like to have this tasty nutritious slowpoke tail? For right now, one million dollars. You want it? No. That sounds disgusting. I mean, even if I had a million dollars, that just, that does not sound like an appetizing thing. Alright. See, that guy over there, he saw us the old rod, but I really, I really don't want the old rod. Because I want I want my shiny Gyarados. So it's like, oh yeah, I have an egg, that's right. I totally forgot. Now there actually is a Pokemon in the cave that I would consider getting, but I always like don't find that like I have the room for him. And that's Sandshrew. San Sandshrew is one of like the coolest Pokemon from Gen One, I think, just because like Sand Slash was always so cool. But I just feel like he doesn't have like a very versatile move set, for at least for like what I want. But I don't know. Maybe if I come across one, I'll get one. But because I still need to think about a Grass type that I want to get. And I need to think about a other type. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe that would work out. I could do one. I don't know. It's like I said. It's weird trying to like think about like this game just because like I'm trying to play it in the, in the in a way that I don't have like the same Pokemon I normally do, with the exception of my starter, just because I love Cyndaquil. And, and honestly, I love the fire types until. You know, they start doing that stupid. Like, I love to play Zekin, but I'm getting. I, I got. I've gotten very tired of all these fire fighting types. 
It's it's gotten very annoying to me. It's like out of all like out of the, all the generations of Pokemon, half the fire types are freaking fighting types. To me, that's very obnoxious. Especially because like I, I feel like the grass types get shafted. It's, it's like. Oh, what second types that grass? Does that grass Pokemon? Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's like okay. I feel like the water type starters have been very cool in the last couple generations. Like Greninja, to me, is like one of the best starters they've ever made. Like incredibly versatile, incredibly strong. I trained one, and it was awesome. He knew Dark Pulse, he knew Ice Beam, he knew all these cool moves. Oh, whoa, the cave looks cool. Yeah, this is Union Cave. What do we got? Fucking Zubat. Get out of here, Zubat. Uh, see? Alright, so maybe I... I was planning on having Pidgey stay out just because since we have a Bug-type gym coming up... I... Really? Um, I thought it would be best to have Quilava do the gym, but it really doesn't matter too much because we have Pidgey, but... Oh, that's cool, you can see the... Stalactites? Stalagmites? I, I, I can never get that right. Alright, so there's a Geodude. And actually, Geodude... I remember when, I, when Gold and Silver first came out, like... A lot of the strat guides for this game were all about you having a Geodude. Because, like, he actually was a pretty good Pokemon for the game. <sighs> See, now that I've talked about Sandshrew, I kind of want one. I, I don't know what I want. Okay, here we go. The only thing that's really stopping me from getting... A Pokemon like Geodude, and even the reason I kind of am considering not trying to get an app. Oh, Sandshrew! It's just because, like, okay, so you like I can level up to get a, you know, a Kadabra, no problem. But then, like, actually, like, there's something you can do after that because you, I, it's not like I can just trade with somebody. Unless there's a means to do that that I'm not aware of. Throw a Pokeball! Look how cute Sandshrew is! See, that freaks me out. In this game, they, they move four times. I caught Sandshrew. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey. Alright, now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep him, so we'll just keep moving. Because I want to get to the next city before the episode ends, so we'll just keep running through this. Quilt Lava won't let anything bad happen to us. Because then that'll give me time to work on Sanchu. Like, I don't ever want to grind for an episode, but I just, I don't think it'll be fun. You know? Unless I was, like, trying to, oh god. He's got Onyx. See, like, that's actually another Pokemon I, now that, I, that I've seen him, I just remembered. Oh god, he's got Rock Tomb. Um, I love Steelix. I think Steelix is a fascinating Pokemon. But again, it's like, how do I... How do I trade Pokemon? Unless they've, like, rewritten values, because, like, that would be cool. I really hate the idea of, like, trading Pokemon to level up. Or to, like, evolve a Pokemon. I've always hated that. Oh, Onyx is dead. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean there's no target? <laughs> He's still right there. Alright, so I gotta heal. I gotta heal my buddy. Right, you're getting a potion. Um, I just gotta... There we go. Might even get to just use two. Just fuck it. Cause I'm... Oh, God. There are a lot of hikers in here. A lot more than I remember. Yes, I'm headed to Azalea. Gosh.
Uh, my th I, I'm probably getting a cold. I can't stop, like, swallowing and sniffing. It sucks. And I'm almost out of drink. Oh, we have another Geodude. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like there's abilities in this game. Because I feel like a lot of these Geodudes would have sturdy. I guess I'm not really hitting the killing them in one hit either, though. I gotta check that. I forgot to check about that. Alright. I'll take down all your Geodudes. Okay, so there's 30. Okay, so there are abilities in the game. Which is nice, because now I can just do quick attack. <laughs> yeah, take that, bastard. I beat Russell. Uh, fire breathers, I thought, were like so weird in this game. It just looked bizarre. Alright, there's Ratata. And there's us leaving Ratata. Too bad Super Sonic is confusing my Pokemon. Like, I guess they were trying to look like Magmar, maybe? I don't know. I always thought they had a weird character design. Take that. Go old bastard. Oh, another coughing. Let me, uh, use Ember on him. I feel like Ember should be super effective against Ghastly, because you'd think the fire would cause the gas to, like, combust and explode. What do I know? I'm just a Pokemon trainer. Give me that great ball. It is kind of cool being able to see the items, though. I, oh, the, the distinguishable ones. I mean, it kind of sucks seeing ones that you're like, oh, like what could that be? Because then I got hot. Alright. Oh my gosh, this cave! I see drugs, though. Why are there Whooper in here? Get out of here, Whooper. I ain't gonna spend my time on you. Can I have you without running into another wild Pokemon? Alright, potion. Cool. I got one of my potions back. Ooh, an Onyx. I kinda wanna catch Onyx. Just cause, like, I wanna really research what the... Like, how the trading Pokemon works. Or, like, how leveling up, like, evolving trading Pokemon. Because, like, if you can do it, I would love to get a Steelix. Steelixes are cool. I love Steel. Steelixies? Steel Eye? See, I love, like, trying to catch rock Pokemon that have sturdy. Because you can literally use, like, any, like, one hit move on them. And. They pretty much catch them with relative ease. And there's a wild Pokemon behind that rock. Screw you, Zubat. I'm only gonna kill you because I want to level up. <laughs> I think one of my favorite things about the newest like generation of Pokemon games, like an X and Y, is that they added getting experience for catching a Pokemon. Because I, I always thought that was like a silly thing that you never got experience for catching like anything. Especially like the legendary Pokemon. I just thought, always thought that was kind of weird. Alright, Wooper, you've, you've avoided me for far too long. It's time to die! I'll put your body in that puddle of water. There you go. Level 16. Perfect. Now if I was a regular starter, I'd be leveling up. Or evolving now. If it's a light, the cave is scary. Oh, well, you know what? You're scary. Look at that hair. It's disgusting. Oh, he's got a Vulpix. I love Vulpix. Die, Vulpix. Quick attack. Blech. Ember. Well. I always thought, too, it was cool whenever you you and your the Pokemon you were fighting both used quick attack. And you got to see, like, who was really, really, like, the faster Pokemon. Alright. Here we are. Oh, hi. I I forgot you were a trainer, actually, <laughs> Mr. Anthony. If that is your real name, I don't got time for you, Anthony. All 
And see, the rain is automatically making my ember even worse. Which sucks. But he is burned, which is nice, so that should help us throw- Oh god, he knows rollout. Oh, that's bad. I gotta kill him. Because by the time Pidgey comes out, rollout could kill Pidgey in one hit. Ooh. Ah, shit. I think he's gonna get burned and die, though. Double knockout. Oh, Pidgey got the experience! Cool. I didn't think he would, actually. Good thing you got a fighting type. Cause Gust will destroy- Okay, Gus will let you live, for whatever reason. Gus should have destroyed you, though. I really wish the animations were working, though. I, l I really like animations. Like, they do take up a little bit more time, but I like them a lot. I want to say Anthony helps you out, too. I I'm not sure why. Uh, Team Rocket. We'll have to deal with them next time. So yeah, so, so we got to Azalea Town, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I'm going to figure out like how the trading works, because if so, that'll change a lot of things into like aspect for me. Like, like that'll make me want to get an Abra. That'll make me want to level up like Onyx and try to be an Incubus Steelix. Just because if I can't do that, that would really suck, so I'll have to find that out. So thank you guys so much for watching this next episode of Pokemon 3D. If you guys like it... Hit the like button, comment to me what you guys think of the video so far. If you guys want to see more stuff that I've played, you can check out the annotations here. So, thank you guys so much again for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next video. Bye bye! Oh, look at the deer! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Look at the deer! I don't know what they are, but they're definitely not deer. Yeah, but we learned that. I, I tried to